Hi everybody, welcome to my little corner where there's no wrong way to play with paper. And in this video, we're going to talk about fill a corner swap on the Facebook group Love RTS. It is a special swap. So what you're going to do is we're going to create an embellishment to fill a corner. Now, I am going to show you many examples at the end because... Um, Linda, who had the idea for this awesome swap, sent me a lot of examples. So at the end, when I show close-ups, I'm also show, going to show her examples to give you some ideas to get the juices flowing. Now, the only way you can be a part of this swap is to join the Facebook group. So the links for that are in the description and we'll just go from there because I cannot do it in more than one place. It's it's a lot of organizing, so I have to kind of contain it. So I'm going to show you two examples, and then I'm going to make one. All right, so this one I used a die set. It's a Tim Holtz set. Um, let's see here. It's this one here. I've shown you this one before. It's 661184. It actually comes with a corner die. So that is one way. I'm going to show you more than a one way because not everyone has dies, right? So it's... I think it turned out really, really cool. Again, I will put, um, I will put close-ups at the end. Now, for this swap, it needs to fit inside of a standard envelope, okay? And you want it to be flat, or else the postage is going to be way too much. So try to keep them flat when you're doing your layers, and just like that, it fits inside. So I just kind of used the actual standard size envelope, business envelope, as my guide for this one. Then I did some stars. I wanted to do other things than flowers because I know that's the easy go-to, right? For myself too. So I took a close to my heart stand, or die set that I had and then I cut this down. That's why you're seeing all these bits over here. And then I just took a standard Sizzix nesting die, okay? Um, and I just, I went with black and yellow the scraps that I had, to be honest with you. And so I measured it out. I made myself a little template with just a couple little border strips. And I sat and I measured it out and I snipped and tucked it and glued it in all the right places and just created layers. So that's another way you can do it, okay? Use your scraps. That's what these swaps are for me. And I hope that's what they are for you because we all have extra scraps. And now I'm going to create one with feathers. Okay. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just um, measure it. I want to kind of make it a little bit thinner. A scrap. See, this is a scrap 100%. It is not going to matter if this is straight. It's not. I just want to make it a little bit thinner. I don't think I need it quite that large. All right, let me get stuff out of the way here. And then I've taken a die set from Spellbinders that I got a while back. You may have seen it in a haul on a clearance. They had a huge warehouse clearance and I got these dies. Now, I'm going to take my feathers and I'm just going to start layering them. It does not matter what color this is because... I'm gonna cover it up. So honestly, it does not matter. I do think I'm going to ink the edges of my feathers. So let me get out my black ink and my little finger dauber. You know, it's hiding from me. It's like, no, I don't wanna to play today. Oh goodness. Okay, so I'm just gonna ink my feathers. This will just help them each stand out just a little bit. And so I'm going to pause real quick. I'm gonna sit here and ink all of these and then we'll come back and put it together. Okay, I have them all inked up and now I'm just gonna start playing. I think I'm gonna start with the big ones. I'll put one this way and one this way. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and let them overlap, right? Just like that. So I'm just going to put a little glue down on my base, that's what I'm calling this here, and put that right there. And do the same over here, and then I'm just going to start creating layers. Feathers go in all different directions, so I'm not really going to stress about that. I might, however, get the next biggest one I have, like that, 
kind of liking that. And I did ink these as well. I'm sure on the camera it's not showing up, but it is a darker shade. So I think I'm going to go this way with that one. Okay. And just keep on playing. It's not going to be a rhyme or reason to this. I'm just playing with the feathers. That's all I'm really doing. I don't know how I want it. Can't decide. <laughs> That's okay. Um, and all I'm going to do is cover up this base. That That's it. Like, I don't really think it's going to matter. I just want to showcase the feathers. That's basically all I'm doing, right? So, and I can always, if I feel like I have enough, I can always, um, how do I put put it up here. I can always trim this base behind there. Okay, that's why I'm just putting the glue where I want it for now. Um, I can always change it. Here's a different color. So maybe I could tuck this one in that way. Kind of liking that. Or should I go with a light brown? I think I'm going to do this one. No wrong way to do this. Like you do whatever you like, to be honest. Okay, don't worry about if it's wrong or right. There's no such thing. And I'm just, just playing with it. That's all I'm doing here. I think I do want this. I think I'm gonna stick this up here. Like glue it from the backside. I think that's what I want. Yeah, I like that. Maybe a little higher. Okay, there's that. I'm thinking I might need this as well. Then I've got five tops even. I'm liking that right there. So go like this. There we go. A little something here. That one's the same color. Need to work over here. So I do think I'm going to round that off there like that, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Okay, so I'm going to tuck this one in here. Let me put some glue. Just like that. And then I'm thinking I'm going to tuck this right in there to round that off. So some glue here. Kind of going generous with the glue. I don't want it to come undone. Liking that. Okay. I think I'm gonna go here. Just like that. Okay. And do I wanna put another one? Not that one if I did. Let's see here. I've got a few. I might have to trim this up a little. I do you think that I may just maybe, do I want to go this way or do I want to go this way? I'm liking that way. Maybe even that way. Oh my goodness. Okay. I can't decide. There's too many choices. Oh, I do like that there. Okay, so I am going to put a strip of glue here. And put this down just like that. All right. And then I think I'm gonna do that one. Should I do? Yeah, I am. Okay, so just like that, I have a corner of feathers. I'm being generous with the glue because it is going to go in the mail, right? So. Now, once I have that, I'm just gonna kind of, I'm not gonna cut these little bits off, but I do think, should I cut? I think I'm gonna go snip there, just like that. And here is a cluster of feathers. Now I might have to turn it this way and I might have to trim it up. So see here, I'm gonna have to um, fudge it a little here. So which in, I'm not gonna mess with this end. I am gonna go with this in. So how much of it do I need to take off? This is just what I've been doing. Um, do I have a pencil? All right, so I need it to go to this one. 
And then I need this to go here. Just a tiny little line for my eyeballs. And I'm going to just kind of trim it up here. And then I'll re-ink it. Okay? I'm not going to really stress myself out about it. Feathers break in the wild too, if you've ever found one. So don't overstress yourself. And then you could always washi tape the a couple to the back, you know, so that they could fill it in if they wanted it to end up. But just, just like that. And it'll, let's see if it'll fit in there. I might have to do this one too. I'm just going to, because I already can tell. And I'll just make this right here, the end of that feather. See there? Nobody's gonna know. Not unless you, you tell them. <laughs> there we go. Now it's gonna fit in there, okay? Let's, let's double make sure. That's how I am doing it. Yeah, that'll, that'll fit in there. See there? It'll fit in there just fine. And just kind of trim it up, make it your own. And there is a feather corner. Now, again, um, all the details for like how much postage and all of that will be in your sign up message when you sign up. Um, oh my goodness. I will also put all of Linda's examples at the end. And just like that, I hope you guys have fun. Think outside of the box. What could you do? You could go feather, goo. <laughs> You can do feathers, you can do gears, you can do I did stars, you could do hearts, flowers. Um, you could even take leaves and do leaves. You could, there are so many different things that you could do. So don't think you have to be set in a box, you know. You know, it'd be really cute if I wasn't mailing this, honestly. Just putting, I have these owls. Look how cute. Or even a bigger one if you had a die cut one. That would be super cute right there in the corner. But I don't want to add bulk. It's a button. Um, you could go on and on. You could do whatever you like. You truly, truly could. Okay? Um, so, I would probably put it this way or that way. Whatever way you want. Right? I guess I could have maybe even left this. You know, it just dawned on me. I could have left this just because I had it in that corner. Jeez, <laughs> it's it's too early. It's like four in the morning right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's okay. It still looks good. I like it. All right. So definitely check all that out. I hope you guys have a very blessed day and I will see you later today after I have had a cup of hot tea and have some more energy <laughs> with the 31 days of sketches. Bye.